Hey, this is a very quick little demo of an interactive app uh, to show Z order or Morton codes and how they can be used to spatially sort uh, in 2D or 3D um, like points or yeah it's used in graphics uh, for and many other applications actually for sorting spatially so here is a Z order curve in the app and we can zoom in and out and see um, so this would be a point we put in the upper left hand uh, cell and um, so you can see this looks kind of like a Z and then if you zoom out you can see this the other pattern the pattern looks also like a Z a, uh, a bigger Z in these at the second level we can zoom out even further and see this pattern kind of continues where they generally go in this Z shape and it just keeps going on and on like that. So when we place a point in here or here or here, you can see when we press space bar in the app, we can toggle back and forth between the floating point coordinates that we placed with the mouse. And when we create a Morton code by doing bit interleaving of the um, coordinates x and y, uh, we get a Morton code which is a integer and that is the cell here so 0, 1 and this one's 8 so this one's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then um, yeah, so when we do the Morton code algorithm, it projects that point, the x and y coordinates, onto this z order curve. So these two points in the same cell would both get mapped to 12 here. And uh, that is the algorithm. And why is that useful? Because now, instead of having all of these points in 2D, we can map them onto a 1D space, onto this z-order curve, which is one-dimensional now. And uh, just with a simple, you know, any kind of sort, like merge sort or quick sort, you can take all of these uh, points and have them in a 1D array and sort that. And uh, then you have, what you have in a 1D array is all of the points that are near each other in the world, call this the bigger world, are now next to each other in the 1D array as well. And that is very useful for optimizing algorithms which need objects to be, or you need to have no kind of the relative location of which objects are close to each other. And it works the same way in 3D, um, although the, you know it looks like a z-order curve like this one in 2D, but uh, you know it's a little bit harder to mentally uh, picture it in 3D, but it does work the same way. So, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.